Hey everyone, it's been about two weeks since I last visited the new Friat factory, and uh, so we're gonna pop in here and visit the team and see if the work layout wound up being anything like Steve predicted in the last video. So I'm gonna meet up with Steve right now and uh, we're gonna see what's happening. Come on in. Okay. And check out our new digs. Let's see. Such as they are, I mean, we're still in the process of yeah. being in the process. Well, we gotta run through before. I wanna see if the ideas that you had originally kinda held up. Yeah, okay, it'll be interesting because the last time we moved, which was the Vineland place, we rearranged that whole facility three different times before we settled on the thing that worked for everybody's workflow. So this time we all kept that all in mind. Mm -hmm. That, we argued about it for five days about what the first implementation might look like. <laughs> That's where we're at right now. We're kind of fleshing it out. At the same time, we have to ship. We've got backwards. We've got customers right. that are waiting. We're doing all that simultaneously with moving in and finishing five new products that are in development. It's out of hand. All, all right, it is work. So Ooh. this is this is work in progress number one, the entrance. Good so job. this this is makeshift. Oh, it's I think I know who's behind not here. Not remotely going to. The tummy. Yeah. The but this is what was predicted. The tummy was going to be here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I envisioned it being a little slicker and more open, but she's got her her objectives as well. So right. I have to respect that. Yeah. Yeah. They got the kitchenette finished, so we okay. got Erico. AKA Nico Chan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so this. Uh, oh, looky here. You, you've met Julian. Julian, what's happening? Working on prototypes. Oh, wow. Look. So, so you, you got a buddy in here. You're not all alone in this giant room. See, That's I'm nice. not one of these king, is, king of the castle kind of guys. But no, we need St. Jimmy up here. Yeah, huh? yeah. So I've got a vision for this that is still in progress, but. This is closer to what I envisioned. Right now, it's in full functional mode and we're getting an, an awful lot of development done because we set that up right away. Correct. This is I the brains this is. of the operation. Um, but the brain isn't here. She's everywhere. She's omnipresent. Yeah, I see where now, she is. I don't know if you're a fan of the movie Cuckoo's Nest. In the movie, the focal point is Nicholson's character. Mm -hmm. In the book, it's narrated by the chief. A lot of what the chief observed was how Nurse Ratchet controlled everybody. She did that with beams of light coming out of her brain and controlling everybody else's brain in the ward. That's how she kept that motley crew all under control. Okay. She had a, a direct telepathic connection to each of them, yeah. and they all had their role to play. That's what Erico is here. She's the nurse ratchet. She keeps all the troops wow. in line and gets... Can I call her that now? Sure. Sure. Oh, this, is the other, this is the other executive office that, again, uh, I thought it was more important to have a comfortable place for meetings and conferences and guests to come in and chill out and relax and talk, have lunch, <clears throat> get away from the... Uh, the workbench area get just get all completely away from the the workspace into a relaxed space. Yeah, the, but everything sort of is predicted. The demo room, which is in progress, we're still unpacking. Whoa. But at the same time, I had to do some really quick, extensive um, vetting out of various design aspects of new products that we're working on. So I had to just grab a bunch of cables from the cable box, bring a guitar, a couple of amps, a power station, and test out these ideas. Um, we're gonna talk about this when we're ready to talk about it, but this is something I just tested today that ended up working flawlessly, and you're gonna be hearing about it, that is gonna expand and enhance the operation of your power station. Just when you thought you couldn't do another thing with the power station, we're gonna just completely... Do you remember the, uh, the Holdsworth juice extractor? Uh, yeah, I do. You're, you're fact, doing the, the power station uh, product extractor. Pretty much. After intense locking of the horns, as they say, we came up with 
the this way of, of arranging the, the workstations and burning in products. So now we have rolling burning racks that could that can accommodate three times as many power stations in the burning and QC process as previously. So we'll be have be able to have as many as four racks like this running simultaneously wow. so we can be banging out the QC on power stations at the rate of so like 30 to 40 units per rack. Oh and, looky here. I remember this. Yeah. So sort of. this is uh this is a, a QC a testing and uh, when we do amp demos and when we do videos about taking apart old amps and seeing how they operate. So this is a 180 degree mirror image setup of what I had previously. Is that kind of weird having everything exactly the opposite? In fact, this was the way it was originally set up in our first factory. <laughs> so this is pretty much an extension of the assembly arrangement that we had before but we've arranged all the small parts inventory and tubes and hardware to have a, a two-way workflow instead of a one-way workflow that was cramped. We just got our shipment of Thane speakers in mm. that have been holding up the delivery of our 412 cabinets. And uh, so from the time that we placed the order until today it was nine months. The pallet racks, they took the longest. We moved all of them back and forth in this area four times before we got it settled to where everybody felt comfortable with it. One of the really nice places about, nice things about this place is up above the offices is a whole bunch of square footage for storage. So all the stuff that we had in our storage warehouse that was prototypes, uh, you know, old discontinued model references, all goes up there. And, uh, we're still just getting everything fine tuned, but that's that's been the last two weeks of, have been getting from the point where you filmed last time when we were just sweeping the dust off the floor to this. Ta -da.